What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. We have received an all new update for Samsung's clock application, which brings in some new additional features. On the change log, it talks about 10 new changes, but not all of them are relevant. There are some minor changes, such as the design or the layout changes. For example, we have got button position change on the alert screen from the cover screen. Uh, we have got button position change on stopwatch. They're just the minor design changes. Let's talk about something really important, uh, some useful features which have been added with this all new update. Now we have got clock feature integrated to Bixby routines. We can now turn alarms on and off or start the timer stopwatch via Bixby routines. Let me show you how it works. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on advanced features. We will find Bixby routines here. Let's tap on this. Add routine. The if condition, let's say uh, before bed. Now let's add what this routine will do. Now here I'll tap on apps. As you can see, We've got clock features added over here. We have turn on alarm, turn off alarms, start a timer, start a stopwatch. You can select any of these to automatically turn on these features. That is fantastic. However, this is only available for Android 12 or higher. So if you are currently on the previous iterations of One UI, you may not be able to use this feature, but if you're expecting One UI 4.0 on your device, definitely you can get this feature on your phone. The next important feature is gradually increase volume option on the alarm ringtone. Let me show you how that works. Let's open clock application. We are on alarms now. Let's add a new alarm here at let's say 8 a.m. And here we have got alarm sound. I'll tap on alarm sound. Here we have Bixby alarm, Spotify and ringtone. Let's tap on ringtones. As you can see at the bottom, we have got an all new option called gradually increase volume. When you turn the switch on, Whenever your alarm starts ringing early in the morning, the volume will slowly increase so that the volume is not too harsh on you early in the morning. Maybe you will wake up peacefully. This is indeed a very useful feature. The next one is it provides custom option on the alarm snooze interval. Now let's tap on snooze option here. As you can see, we have got snooze intervals here. Earlier we had 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes. Now we have got custom option added. When we select this, we can select any intervals we want right from one minute interval. That is great. Now the next important feature is it supports day and night background colors in dual clock and digital clock widget settings. This is about the widgets. As you can see here, I've got a dual clock widget. Uh, I can set two different cities here. I get to see the current time in both the cities. At the same time, the background colors on this widget changes to either white or black, depending on whether it's a day or night in that particular city. Along with this, we also get an option to turn on this feature in the widget settings menu. Let me show you that. Let's press and hold on this widget. We get the settings option. When we tap on that, we can see day and night colors. Background color will change depending on the time of the day. We can turn this on or off. These are some of the important changes or new features which have been added on this alarm clock application. There are a few other changes as well. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got seconds hand on the analog clock widget now the button position change on timer and the button position change on the alert screen from the cover screen. Very minor changes though, uh, they're not actually that relevant. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. This is definitely a huge upgrade for the alarm clock application. Some of the features are available only on Android 12 or One UI 4.0. So if you're still on 3.1 and expecting One UI 4.0 to come very soon, you will be able to use these features on clock application after you get the One UI 4.0. Thanks a lot for watching. If you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe and be a part of Apex community to watch some useful contents on Galaxy phones, One UI, MIUI, Android applications, etc. And make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment about what do you think about this update? How many of you would go ahead and use these features? That's all I have here. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.